guys, it's another day, another adventure. <laughs> yeah, it's still raining, it's not much of an adventure, just walking on the beach. Rio de Janeiro is actually pretty chill. And, um, rainy days like this, well it's been raining for three days, there's no sun. When the sun, the sun is out, this beach is usually packed, full of people and chaos and everyone's whistling, you're trying to sell stuff. But now it's like completely opposite, it's really chill. Like, um, in England and Manchester, when it's a rainy day, everyone gets angry because they haven't had sun for, you know, six months or probably even longer. On Brazil, it's like completely opposite. And on sunny days, on really hot days, everyone's chaos, get really angry, trying to, you know, on the rush, full of coffee. But like, look at these people now, they're really chill, like, it's like complete opposite. Of, uh, tomorrow when it'll be sunny again, the beach will be packed, everyone will be going crazy again. But yeah, I'll do, I'll do this video about the truth for uh, Brazil. Been here for two years now. It's about a good understanding of it. Been around um, Porto Laser, Curitiba, Belo Horizonte, Center, up north, and uh, Curitiba and uh, Sao Paulo. Been traveling through uh, through coach as well for the past two years. Yeah, but I've been in Rio de Janeiro maybe. I've been back and forth, but I've been here total about. Uh, a year and five months, something like that. But yeah, I don't usually walk across the beach, but I'm walking to Ipanema again in the outdoor gym. A little bit of training, and then uh, return to my hotel room. It's really peaceful, though. it's so chill. But yeah, when I first came here, everyone was saying, when I first said I wanted to, yeah, I'd love to live in Brazil, I'd love to live in Rio de Janeiro. I was planning how I was gonna become free, how I was gonna. Get passive income, I'm not going to be able to travel and not have to work ever again. And I started studying Portuguese, started planning my way how I was going to do it, you know, because people say, oh, it's too hard, it's too difficult, but this, I mean, I, I was planning years ago, but now it's so lucky to be born in, you know, to be in this day and age in 2020 to have unlimited possibilities through online. I mean, I had to, I mean, I, I tell people all the time, you know, um, you know, online to, you know, go, you know, come traveling, you know, you know. You don't have to come travel with me, but you can easily, you know, work your way to get a passport or, or to basically take steps to become free. And it was like, oh no, it's too hard, I have to get a job. And it's like, get a job then. In this day and age, you have so many, you don't even have to leave your room to get a job. You can teach online, you can do every, anything online. Girls are, the most, and girls are the most spoiled people ever in this age. All you have to do is sell, girls can sell a picture of their bottle and fucking have someone pay a, a flight for them to Dubai, but never to wait to do that. No one wants to go to the bar. you know, no, no one wants to take the leap, everyone wants to stay in bed and eat net, watch Netflix and eat crap and then die, and they wonder why they die in miserable death. But yeah, like I say, anyway, <laughs> getting, getting lost track. But yeah, everyone is um, too scared, I always care about what people think. Bullshit, I don't give a shit what people think because I'm free, I get to travel the world and do what I want. So I don't have to depend on anyone. I might go surfing today. It's a really chill day to go surfing. I can surf. I feel like I finally reached my end game. You know, I mean, if people say, "Oh, your end game is going to be the city life. It's going to be you know, being a millionaire in the city life," you know, no, that's bullshit. That's all, that, that's just cause more problems. People are just going to want you dead. People are just going to want your car, your money. People are going to just want you even more. It cause more stresses. But this is beach, natural elements of life. That's what you need. Yeah, the same. This day and age, you have, a, you have more opportunities more than anyone, especially girls. Girls do more than anyone. To you know, they can just sell a picture of anything online. You know, they have some sugar daddy in Dubai, pay for everything, and then people wonder why they're miserable because they get everything given to them. And it's the equivalent of spoiled pigs. There was um, a philosopher who said, um, if you could have happiness off a tap. Was, was some kind of, I remember studying something in philosophy back in college. We studied philosophy, and they had um, some kind of some kind of saying that if you get happiness off a tap, you know, just instant happiness, would you get it? You know, um, and the argument was that no, because no is the best option because if you don't work for it, then you don't grow for it, and uh, it's not. It's just a drug, you know, it's just a drug like cocaine or anything that people do. It's basically equivalent to what most people do today. They just sell anything just to get the easy path, get the easy way, and they don't. 
appreciate it anymore. They don't realise anything. They don't reach any fulfilment. And they don't, um, yeah, they don't have any meaning in life. And they don't have the true essence of, uh, of being happy. Oh, you know, I'd be respectful of anything, or having that, or having true pride within. And that leads to a fulfilling life, you know, having an adventurous life. If you don't have adventure, if you don't have fulfilled dreams, it's ever been given to me. Yeah, I mean, I, I used to work, I used to work like a... I speak to people this day and age, they go, oh no, I have to work, I have to do this one work then. I used to get up and out of my ass and scrub floors and clean tables and uh, have my hands dirty, you know, wash the dishes for a, year, for a few years. For like one or two years. People, and these people, girls in this day and age, all they have to do is what, type in something online and then they don't have to do anything. If, if, if they really want to work at hands dirty, then all they have to do is work at a clerk store. You know, they never have to get hands dirty. I got my hands really dirty. Giving blood, sweat, and tears every single day, you know. So I almost fainted at one point. I used to have no leads for lost underweight, and I was because I was, I was training at the same time to be a kickboxing champion. And, you know, as a teenager. But in this day and age, you don't have to do anything. You know, people just have everything given to them. So people say, "Oh no, it's too hard. It's too difficult." No, it's more, more easier than fucking ever. You don't have to do anything. You know, they don't know what hard is. They never have to go Never have to clean dishes and get a hand dirty and stink at the end of the day and they'll never realise the worth of that and that brings happiness, I remember I used to do that I used to clean dishes and um, lost and then I used to go straight to training and train for uh, an hour or two you know, to achieve my dreams to become kickboxing champion and then I used to go home and I used to love just chilling out at the end of the day knowing that I'd give a hard day's work it really really made me feel, you know and really pushed my confidence but this day and age, no one has any confidence to do anything because they're indoors in day. So they don't realize their potential. They don't realize, they don't go outside and talk to people and socialize and put, put up with all the crap that everyone, everyone's gonna give them. Because if you were, I remember we used to work at jobs in Manchester and everyone used to give you crap, everyone used to be sarcastic and call your names and everything. And it makes you tough and it makes you, and it makes you realize that you can do anything. You're capable of doing anything. You're capable of putting up with everything and everything's bullshit. All you have to do is do it. That for years and end, and um, but yeah, really scenario. As I say, well, there's no subject for this video, I just waffle on and on. But yeah, I'll do the truth about real scenario. People always start, uh, I come here for a real deep oh, Brazilian girls, and they're like, no, Brazilian girls, and you see the big shape, shape of the bum with the ass, the hands, and everything. And no, I've never been physically attracted to uh, that type, I've always been a sl slim, natural, slim guy. Uh, an exomorph, so and naturally, uh, I'm a first slim girl, so I'm naturally attracted to slim girls. If you're not talking, if you're talking about physical anyway, which is never probably the first option because obviously everything's backwards in this day and age, but yeah, I like, um, but yeah, if, you, if you're coming to Brazil for uh, sex or to people. Don't come because it's probably the way. You're probably better going up to um, somewhere more open-minded, like Eastern Europe. But I love it here because of the nature. I've been here for two years. I might have been here for two years, and I've only had like two girlfriends, uh, no three. Um, but yeah, every time I went to Peru or Argentina, it's been much better there. But yeah, I'm more physically attracted to uh, Tino. But here, just have peace. It's like peace for me. Because you can't find anywhere perfect. No one is perfect. Um, Brazil, Rio de Janeiro especially, um, has karaoke's and they're like the most, really most arrogant, ignorant kind of people you can meet. Because they have everything. I mean, they have the beach. They have everything they could ever want. They think they have, well, think they have everything until they go outside and they realize how full of crap they are. But you can't tell that truth to them because they always like to think they're perfect, they always like to think they're the best. Like everywhere I've been in the world, Saudi Arabia, all around Europe, Slovakia, Mexico, what even when I lived in Mexico, the Maldives, everyone thinks they're the best. And everyone judges the outside as like, oh, they're just better. They're the jealous of your freedom that you can do. They always try and beat you down in society. That's what 
this is why I like to come to the beach and just do 